Hello people, this is Bender888, and today, um, pretty much what I'm going to show you is how to do muzzle flashes. Well, not muzzle, oh, yeah, but I got a request on this, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. So, what you want to do is find, wrong folder, find your, um, gunshots, if I can... There we are. Alright, so let's say we want automatic fire. For some reason, I'm not sure why you would want that, but... Whatever. And, alright. So you want to take your fire and drag it into wherever you want it to start. Let's just say it. I want it to start right there, and this is way too long. If I can try. Uh, it's really weird. Alright, there. For some reason. Alright. And. Now. If you would want to. Muzzle flashes, and you can drag it to wherever you want to start. So that's where it's going to start, and then you just go and work on it. And okay, so pretty much, if I can get this to go to a okay, there we go. Um, you can drag this and scale it just like that, pretty much. Turn it around like that. Turn it around like that if you wanted to. And you can go like that, but if you want it to keep in perspective, hold down shift. And let's do that. So I can't do that kind of stuff. And let's say we want it that big. Alright, so that's pretty simple. But let's say that we're going to have one come out of there, then one come out of this eye, then one come out of that eye. What you want to do is press um, P while you're selected over this, then hit this little stopwatch right there. And then just go up to where you want the next muzzle flash, so let's say two. Then we want to move it up here. Wait. No. So we got two. And I'm not sure you set a keyframe. But I think it's that. There we go. Then you just click on that. There's probably some shortcut for that. But I don't know it. And then you want to go next frame. Drag it up to his eye. And then two shots. Keyframe. Whoops. Back. And then over here to that eye. And if you mess up or something, you can just drag this box to where you want it to be. So then. That could just pretty much be what you want it to be. So, yeah, it's simple enough, but then let's say if you wanted to mask it out, it just looks weird. Alright, let's say you wanted to mask out an explosion in the background or something, so you would need to go get your. Um, it's not there, and I can't get it to there, so. Explosions, um, let's just grab a random one. Alright, so explosion, 
This would actually probably be the easiest way to do it, but... Oh well, let's say... I don't know, but... Let's say this had a black background, and so you couldn't just put it down here and have the explosion be behind it. Let's say it had a black background and you had to have it in front. So, you can scale it however big you want it. Let's re-select that. Make it a big explosion. Alright, no, not that big. And then, oh yeah, to rotate it, you just click W or click on this key up here. And just rotate it however much you want it. And then press V to go back. So let's say it's going to be like right there. Let's say. So what you want to do is go to right where this, where the, ex the very beginning of the explosion comes in. Which would be right. So, I guess since it's out of frame, I need to move it up some. Like that. Alright, so. Let's say right there. So, what you want to do is press G to get the pen tool. And now you just click somewhere and then press M so that this comes up. And, but for this you wouldn't need it, so pretty much all you have to do is outline your guy. I'm just being extremely sloppy because I don't want to bother with this. And almost done. And if you want to go back, just press Control Z. Simple enough. In order to do that, you just hold down. That didn't work. A bit too far away. You just click and hold down to do rotation kind of stuff. I haven't completely figured out that yet, though. And you're almost done. And just make it together like that. And now, if you go through it and you're like, what? What's this? All of this is over the guy. Uh, you have to go over here where it says add, click, and go into subtract. So it just goes behind. Like that. Then when it renders out... That's your video, pretty much simple enough. Um, I'm not exactly sure what he was asking. And pretty much you just follow that all the way around. It's pretty simple actually, so I guess that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll see you later. Bye.